breaking news, Intel's Lunar Lake chips, the verdict is in. Big news today, folks. Intel is back with their Lunar Lake chips and everyone's asking the big question. Can Intel finally rival Apple's M3, Qualcomm Snapdragon, and some of the others? Well, the verdict is in and let me tell you, this might just be a breakthrough that Intel needs to jump back into the fight. The performance benchmarks are in and we're gonna dive into what these mean for Intel today and for software developers. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer Thompson, and here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers in our coding boot camps and to build custom software solutions for companies. So I do a lot of work as a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and a solid 25 years in software development, I've mastered the art of transforming technology, teams, and products. So let's talk about Intel's Lunar Lake chip and the big contender in 2024's chip battle. Can it really compete with Apple's M3 and Qualcomm Snapdragon X? Well, the short answer is Intel's finally stepping up their game after a string of forgettable launches. With improved performance, better power efficiency, and some killer benchmarks, it looks like Intel might be back in the running. Now, Lunar Lake isn't just about raw performance. It's about balancing power with efficiency, and this is super important. That's something that Apple nailed with its M series, and it looks like Intel took some notes. These new chips are running on Intel's next gen three nanometer process, which means they're super energy efficient while still packing a punch. If you've been frustrated by the power hungry Intel chips of the past, these might just change your mind. Oh, and did I mention the battery life? Yeah, we'll get to that too. Now let's talk about performance because that's where everyone really wants to know. In head-to-head -head benchmarks, Lunar Lake does surprisingly well against Apple's M3 chips. We're seeing near parity in single core performance with Intel actually pulling ahead in some multi-core tests. Apple still edges out Intel in graphics performance, but Intel is closing the gap fast. So if we're on the fence about switching to Mac for development, maybe you might just think about it and watch how these come when they come out. Because we know Intel has had some launch problems too. Intel isn't just about taking aim at Apple, they're also going after Qualcomm Snapdragon X. Snapdragon has been a dominant in the ultra mobile space, but Lunar Lake is gunning for it with better battery life and similar if not better performance in key areas like multitasking and general computing. Qualcomm still has a slight edge when it comes to integrated 5G, but Intel's making serious progress in closing that gap as well. All right, let's talk about battery life because this is where Intel really shines. According to early reports and benchmarks, Lunar Lake chips offer significantly better battery life compared to Snapdragon X and even Apple's M3. And that's kind of surprising. We're talking about up to 30% more life in certain configurations. If you're like me and constantly on the go, this is a game changer. And if your company has systems that aren't connected, let us help you out. Here at StartupPack.com, our specialty is connecting systems to help your company work like a well-oiled machine. So check out StartupPack.com slash Spencer and we can help you out. So Intel's Lunar Lake lineup is being led by Core Ultra 200 B CPUs, which promise to blend performance and efficiency in a way that Intel hasn't quite nailed before. Earlier reviews suggest that Intel's Ultra 200V series is bringing a solid mix of performance for both everyday users and power users alike. This chip is a big deal, especially if you're looking to run heavy workloads without burning through your battery in a matter of hours. Now what about gaming and creative workloads? Okay, developers and creators, listen up. While Apple's M series has been the darling of the creative professionals, think video editing, 3D rendering, and graphic design, Intel's Lunar Lake is finally a legitimate competitor. Gamers and creators alike are finding that the Lunar Lake chips are holding their own in heavy graphics workloads, although Apple's M3 still has a slight edge in its integrated GPU. But here's the kicker. Lunar Lake isn't too far behind, and with Intel's upcoming driver optimizations, this gap could close faster than you think. Now, if you're someone who loves to multitask, and I know a lot of you are, because I know you're listening to me and doing work at the same time, Intel's Lunar Lake is a powerhouse. One of the key advantages Lunar Lake has over the competition is its ability to handle multiple intensive tasks simultaneously without even breaking a sweat. So if you're running a dozen tabs on Chrome while coding in VS Code and running a few Docker containers, this chip is gonna exceed. Now let's get into some of the fine print here. While Intel's Lunar Lake holds its own in most benchmarks, there's still some areas where Apple and Qualcomm lead. Apple's M3 is still king in integrated graphics, and Qualcomm Snapdragon X leads with its 5G capabilities. But here's the thing, Lunar Lake is a well-rounded chip that excels in general computing and power efficiency. And if you're willing to give up a bit in one area, you'll gain a lot in some of these other areas. So if you're a developer looking for the best overall experience, this might be your sweet spot. Now I know I hear what a lot of you are saying, Intel's had some problems with their chips in the past, so we're gonna wait a couple releases to see if this is true. And I hear that, and I think that's a valid point. 
But so why should developers care? The rise of Lunar Lake means that Intel is back in the fight and that means more competition. More competition leads to better products, better pricing, and more innovation. If you're a developer, this is great news because it means more powerful hardware options for you to code, build, and deploy on. So whether you're running resource-heavy applications or building cloud-based solutions, now you have more choices than ever before. So are we gonna see some of these Lunar Lake and laptops soon? Yes, and it's happening sooner than you might think. Major OEMs like Dell, Lenovo, and HP are already planning to integrate these next gen chipsets into their ultrabooks we're talking about lightweight ultra thin laptops with serious power under the hood so if you're in the market for a new development machine keep an eye on the lunar lake based systems they're going to be hitting the market so the big question is are we going to see a comeback story here we love seeing the comeback stories and this is going to be the big question can intel beat apple and qualcomm the answer is it depends in raw performance, Intel is closing the gap fast, but Apple still has an edge in specialized areas like graphics and creative workloads. Qualcomm holds its ground in the mobile and 5G. However, if you're looking for an all-around workhorse chip that balances power, battery life, and versatility, Lunar Lake is looking like a real contender. Now, we're going to see about how the jury is out about all their other security and the other problems they've had with some of their last releases, and hopefully this can not follow some of those same trends, because it's not about beating in every area, but rather offering the best balance of all these areas for everyday use. Now, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I love having a great discussion. So leave a comment down below. It's the best compliment I can get. And here at Starter Pack, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding bootcamp, as well as to build custom software solutions for companies. Just reach out because we'd love to help. So hit the link down below or go to starterpack.com slash Spencer today.